Okay, so we've got our Mercury 310 controller installed. We've got our linear actuator hooked up to the gate. In this case, it's a Titan 912L linear actuator. We've got it wired to the board here at motor one. If this was a dual gate application, I'd have my second motor plugged into motor two location here. Now, the learning on this board is just a little bit different and much easier than on our other boards. But we learn the motors individually on this board. Um, on our other 936 and 1050 boards, we learn them together. But on this board, motors are learned individually. So once we've got our motor hooked up, connected to the board, we turn our dial to learn motor one. L1 will be flashing on the display, indicating that it's an unlearned, unlearned state. So now I can hold my left and right arrow buttons and move my gate. If I hold the left button, the gate will close in this case. It really doesn't matter which direction the gate goes. And now I've hit my limit and I'm in the closed position. But both lights are flashing because the board at this point doesn't know if that gate's in the open or closed position. It just knows that it, it was going one direction and it hit a limit, so it stopped. If I want to open the gate, I'll just hold the other button. Now my gate's opening and I can adjust my open limit position. So you need to get your limits adjusted properly. And again, you can hold the left and right hand buttons, adjust your limits, get your gate stopping in both the open and closed positions where you want it. Once you've got that done, we usually like to put the gate about the midway position to begin at the actual learning process. So now we've got our gate midway, limits are adjusted. We're gonna press and hold both buttons together until the gate moves. There, my gate's closing. It's going to hit the limit switch and stop. And both red and green lights are blinking and it's flashing back and forth between OP and CL, OP, CL. So the board is asking me, is this gate now in the open or closed position? And I'm going to tell it, in this case, my gate's closed. So I'm going to press the close button. And it sets that as the closed limit. And the board automatically sets motor direction and limit orientation based on what I just told it. And so, that's how you can wire the motor, red and black either direction or orange and white either direction, pushed open, pulled open, it doesn't matter. That's how we make this work, regardless of motor direction or gate swinging direction or even how you have that motor wired. So my gate's going open right now. It's gonna hit the open limit. When it hits the open limit, right there I get a green light next to open. And now my gate's closing full speed. It's going to slow down and hit the close limit and stop. Now it's going to reopen one more time at full speed. Again, it's still learning, so let it go through this entire process without interruption. And you'll notice that we didn't connect any accessories to this unit yet. No photo wires, no edges, nothing. There's our open limit, gate stopped. Learning is finished. Now, if this were a dual gate application, I would simply get my other motor connected to the motor two side of the board and then turn my dial to learn motor two right there. Open and close that gate, get the limits adjusted, Press, it, put the gate about midway, press and hold the left and right buttons together, and let that motor learn to the board as well. But this is a single gate application, so I'm done. So now I can turn my dial over to run. I actually don't even have to do that. I can leave the dial in any position, but put it in the run position, uh, make sure that nobody can come in here and just change any parameters accidentally. So I'm in the run position. Now I can hit the close button and the gate is closing. And it's that easy to learn your motor to the board and get this unit operational. And again, you've noticed that we've not connected any external entrapment devices to this. Of course, we always recommend that you do put non-contact sensors on the system, uh, photo eyes or even edge switches. Those are a contact sensor, but um, external safety devices are always a good idea. While they aren't required by this board to be UL325 compliant, they're always still a really good idea just to keep that gate uh, even safer. So there we are. We're fully programmed and we are operational at that point. So that's how easy it is to learn the motor to the board.